In March of 2020, Cal Poly's women's basketball was at the peak of their season. They had made the Big West Conference Tournament and were preparing to play in the semifinals. The team seemed poised to go all the way until the outbreak of COVID-19 put a stop to collegiate sports altogether. For senior forward Kirsty Brown and junior forward Hannah Scanlon, it was a time full of surprises and heartbreak. Um, that night, and I remember this, we went out to dinner at BJ's and we were all like sitting, like eating our pizookies and we were hearing that all the other tournaments were getting canceled. And we were like, oh no, like we're in the middle of our tournament. Like, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. And then the next morning we woke up um, for breakfast and the coach was like, okay, like we're going to have a meeting like before breakfast. And we were like, okay. So we like all go into our head coach's room um, for our meeting. And she was like, so they decided to cancel the rest of the tournament. Um, Like we're going to go get on the bus and go home. So it was very disappointing especially because we were doing so well at that point and we were having like our Cinderella run as an eight seed you know like dominating over this these teams that had were higher seeds had beaten us during regular season um and to just like have everything finally coming together for us and then have it literally taken away like overnight was everyone was very sad there were a lot of tears yeah it was definitely frustrating for all of us because we were on a run and we believed that we could have kept going and potentially won the big west championship but i definitely felt for all the seniors because they had no idea it was going to be their last game um so that was kind of a tough way to to end their season and their last game forever after the initial outbreak of the virus campuses across the country abruptly stopped all ongoing sports seasons postponed team activities and closed campuses to combat the spread of COVID-19. Though campuses and facilities were closed, teams continued to meet and work as part of their off-season training via Zoom and other online formats. For the athletes, whether they were back in their home states or living off campus, the challenge now was to find ways to train despite the lack of equipment and coaching. I was in my in the apartments at PCB and I kind of had to like, I was ordering like home the stretchy bands to kind of do like home workouts and just staying active around slow going on lots of hikes and kind of mostly just like working out at home or outdoors but didn't really have much access to like real weights or like the gym so that was kind of difficult to stay in like basketball shape Uh, but yeah just kind of being creative finding ways around it if it's just lifting like big jugs of water around like the apartment or something so yeah we had to get creative with it for sure any like hoops or anything so it was a lot of just like dribbling and like strength stuff at home because people couldn't go to the gym so like I know I was lifting with like the like gallon water bottles and just like whatever I could find um because like we didn't have any weights equipment in my house so it was tough for sure to like try and stay in shape and everything after spending the spring quarter in online classes and zoom meetings away from campus Cal Poly athletes were finally able to return to campus for in-person team workouts and activities Though despite the return to campus, COVID safety protocols required a change to the way teams practiced and worked together. The change was prominent for women's basketball and at times made it difficult to focus at the task at hand. One person out of hoop with one ball, the coaches like weren't allowed to rebound, do anything. Um, so it was pretty much just like, oh, you finally get to like shoot again. <laughs> yeah. um, and then it was like that until... October and then October we were able to like go back into team practices so in the fall like before the season started we started our spring workouts and they were definitely a lot different than we've ever done before I remember our coaches literally had to wear plastic gloves because we couldn't all like touch the same basketball so we all had our own individual ball our coaches were wearing plastic gloves that were like so gross and sweaty and we were all wearing masks even though half of us lived together so it was a crazy time and at the same time we had no idea if we were even going to have a season so it was kind of difficult to be working out every day not really knowing what was going to happen in the future because COVID is so unpredictable. After going through the adversity and uncertainty of the offseason women's basketball finally received confirmation that they would in fact be playing in 2020. Though the season would look different from past years, as only coaches, players, and few media members were permitted to attend the games. Though the games became more secluded, players found positive change in the new normal for their season. 
not having fans or the band there to like cheer us on was definitely a disadvantage, but it made our bench and our team step up even more and be there for our teammates. And we knew we had to cheer even louder and have great bench energy because we didn't have our fans or parents there to cheer us on. And the band is like a huge atmosphere changer as it is. So without that, we definitely all had to step up. It was definitely really weird at first, um, especially like at the home games, because I mean, we love our band and they're the best band in the nation, in our opinion. So like not having them there was really weird, especially just, you know, when you're in like a really close game or like a really tough opponent, it's always nice to have those home fans, but it was really nice at the opposite side on the away games because we didn't have to deal with their fans. Through their 2020 season, Cal Poly's women's basketball battled through a hard fought 24 games and ended up going 13 and 11 earning a spot in the Big West Conference Tournament for the second straight year. Despite the strenuous season brought on by the virus, the team felt accomplished after finishing the regular season and looking forward to the postseason. I see it as we've gotten a lot stronger as a team. Like We've been through a pandemic and played basketball during that. Not many people can say that. Um, so being able to live day by day and if some of our teammates got COVID and we all had to quarantine, it took a lot out of us um, and we definitely – had to take um, some, like we had to make really serious decisions on whether or not we were gonna, who we were gonna hang out with, where we were gonna go. So we had to make some sacrifices for our team. And I think it definitely made us a lot stronger. But overall, I thought we did really well. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was a tough season, but we managed it and to make it all the way through. And I think we were only shut down once or twice. Once because of our team, once because of another team. But like there were teams that like only ended up playing like five or six games. So like for us to actually be able to play, you know, 24 games um, and have a winning record in those 24 games is pretty great. In the Big West Conference Tournament in Las Vegas, Nevada, the Mustangs defeated Long Beach State in the quarterfinals, but would go on to lose to UC Irvine in the next round in the semifinals. Despite the exit in the tournament, the team had a lot to be proud of as their season came to a close. It was a tough game. You know, obviously they beat us twice in regular season and we came out and hit them really hard in the first quarter and then just kind of lost our way. Um, so definitely a really tough loss, a tough way to go out. But I mean, I'm proud of how we fought for the whole time till the last second of the game. I mean, we were, I think we were down like five and we were still going as hard as we possibly could, even though we knew um, with three seconds left down five or seven, it's very unlikely that you can turn that around and win it. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm proud of the team and I thought we did really well, so. Looking back on the previous year, the team can look back with astonishment at the feats they were able to accomplish. Despite a devastating virus and a restricting pandemic, Cal Poly's women's basketball fought to compete in 2020 and successfully had a season. For the players, the season will be one that they can always look back on with gratitude. I think it's definitely made me stronger. It's made me appreciate basketball more. And going forward, I'm just always going to remember this. Knowing that we were very lucky to have that time and the resources that we had in a pandemic to be able to complete that season. Um, I think everyone definitely felt very, very blessed, very lucky.